What's up, you two? Simply. Oh, not a little luckier. And today we have the newest expansion set from Konami. It is the Infinity Chasers. And then we'll ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more Epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So this is the 60 card expansion set, you guys. It is all foils. So there's going to be 20 secret rares and 40 super rares. So uh, I'm actually very excited for this set. Um, a lot of epic cards inside, though I am confused about the name. We also have the uh, squad here today. We got Simply Bro and Simply Dan chilling, helping us out with the video as we uh, go along. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys. So very interesting set. I'm actually curious though. What do you guys think? Uh, the Infinity. Who who are the Infinity Chasers? Definitely the Infinitrack, right? The the Infinitrack. Yeah, the Infinitrack. They're on the Infinite Track. Man. Oh, the Infinite oh, Infinite Track guys. The Tonka trucks, right? The the Tonka <laughs> trucks. The uh, the. Uh, the construction crew. The construction crew. I was actually gonna say, yeah, it's all construction monsters. Yeah, the Infinitrack uh, guys. Um, I can't remember their names right now, but there's a lot of actually epic cards inside. A couple of the short prints are actually those guys as well. Um, we also have the Lolis or the Witch Crafter. Witch Crafters, you guys. And then we have the Evil Eyes. And uh, these guys are pretty sweet, actually. Fiends. Yeah. Interesting to note about all the three archetypes in here, you guys, is that the Lolis are probably going to hold the most value for now because they're one of the more interesting, um, I guess, pictures. Lolis. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but also they have a lot of support in this box. You know, I feel like you could easily make a whole deck with the Loli archetype. And then we have um, Evil Eye, and I feel like Evil Eye really needs some more support, which is interesting because a lot of people are talking about investing in the Evil Eye cards because right now they're not going to be worth that much because the decks, the cards, the support's not there, and they have a Stratos. And so this Stratos, honestly, we know Stratos cards. Brionic, what is that card? 70 I, ice barrier brionic um well still that's the same brionic, but the uh ritual you're talking about uh, the, uh oh, wow. yeah but still you know a hundred dollar card when the deck was good and yeah. that was the stratos kind of for the yeah, deck you, you ritual them out and yeah and you and search you search yeah. for anyone and so that's the kind of concept i'm thinking with this is if if the evil eyes become a good set i feel like serzial serzial might end up being a very valuable card was it Gishkis? Gishkis. yeah Maybe. Right. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I'm very excited for the set. Let's get started. And uh, thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro. Uh, got some stuff coming in soon. But for now, we have the Golden Duel Supplies. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Golden Duel Supplies. Uh, we got the play mat and the sleeves on SipAndLucky.com along with Infinity Chasers. Definitely check out the eBay store and TC Player also at the top of the links in the description below. Um, we have all the singles up and ready to go, you guys. Here we go. Are the cards guide us. So uh, we'll do one box opening here, and then uh, we'll go from there. So some of the, you'll uh, notice on the supers here, you guys, a lot of random magician, not random, but magician support to help out the witch archetype. Then infinite track. How are we going to say it? Infinite track. Infinite track. Yeah, okay. Infinite track. All right. Infinite track crab crane. Witchcrafter Schmietta. Schmietta. <laughs> I don't know how. Schmetta. Yeah. Shmetta. It's got a Brooklyn accent and stuff like an Italian. Um, but yeah, uh, Schmetta is definitely one of the more powerful actual. She's not even a short print. And she's probably going to be one of the more valuable super rares for the Witchcrafter deck. Uh, she, ser she searches. Yeah. She's the search one. Discard a spell, special summon one from your deck. Um, and then we have, ooh, Heavy Freight Train, Dara Crane. I always love that guy. And then Infinitrack. Infinitrack. Trencher. So, Infinitrack cards. Nice schmetta. Schmetta. <laughs> schmetta. <laughs> schmuck. You schmuck. Schmetta schmuck. So they're making the infi infinite track. Yeah. Is that? This. Oh, you mean they're, they're creating the infinite track? They're the construction right. crew for the infinite track. Right. Oh. Uh, so it's like a railroad to infinity. Right. Okay. And so beyond. They're making the railroad for the train deck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. Uh, the crab crane again. Secret village of the spellcaster. Spellcasters in the trees, you guys. So, uh, <laughs> very, very powerful card. It's nice to see a reprint of this as well. Um, it's it's a, been a reprint, I think, a few times, but it's it's nice to see it uh, so it can be used in the new Spellcaster decks now. So, uh, very cool. Uh, definitely more valuable, I think, super rare. And Spellbook of Knowledge also in here. That kind of goes with uh, Spellcasters in the Trees. Yeah, I never realized you contribute a Spellcaster. Yeah, it's you one Spellcaster monster you yeah. control. 
And we have our first uh, Witchcrafter card by Street. This one's uh, not bad, but we'll see if it actually holds some uh, play value. Oh, nice. Another Shmeta. Shmeta. Uh, collaboration of the Witchcrafts. You know, and of course, you got the cool art. They are lolis. Um, and again, loli art is definitely more of a cute art. I think if you guys, you know, know Japanese art, it's uh, they're not really trying to make it sexual at all. It's more of just really cute. And then we have uh, Familiar Evil Eye, whoa, but how do you say that? Catablapus? Oh yeah, Catablapus. Catablapus. Wonder Wand and Infinitrack, Fortress Mega Clops. Is that the guy in the background? No. It's not? No, it's not. Oh man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's the boss monster though, for sure. Yeah. 4,000 attack, right? I feel like this guy, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, he's definitely the boss monster though. And Wonder Wand, it's cool to see a Wonder Wand reprint. I love that it's four, by the way. Which one? Uh, Wonder One. Wonder One foil? Uh, like oh, foil. super rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evil Eye. Rank Up Magic Astral Force works with these uh, infinite track cards. And the Gate. Um, another Witchcrafter here. Uh, pottery, I think, is what we're going for with her. Pottery? What was it? There was a different one that has a different name, right? I want to call Peter. Yeah, uh, it's like... Uh, Piotery. Yeah, it's Piotr 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Piotr yeah, yeah. Um, and so we have opened uh, a few cases, you guys, so we can uh, give you guys an idea of the ratios here. But I did want to open up a few boxes too uh, before we talk about that. Infinite Track Drag Shovel. Okay. Big S shovel. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. So, wait, you pulled two Mega Clops? Yeah, two Mega Clops in a row. Very interesting to see that. I just want to set some of the supers kind of at the bottom here. Um, then Juragetto's in here. Interesting. And Xerzeal. Different from Serzial. Yeah. Because it's Xerzeal, which is the Link, and Serzial, which is the Stratos. So, uh, actually, Epic Lipping Guy, this is the guy on the box. And he's pretty powerful, but, uh, you know, it's a Link 3, and I feel like as a Link 3, you kind of want to be a bit more powerful than that guy, but we'll see. Again, you guys, the Evil evil Eye cards, people are like, man, are these going to go up later? What's the plan with these cards? What's going to happen? Is sort of Link 3 as well? He's a four, Link 4. But he only takes three mods, right? It's four for Link 4. Oh, wow. So, But you can use Link monsters that already have... So if it's a Link 3, you can use a Link 3 and one monster, and one monster. another monster. Oh, okay. um, or Link 2 and two other monsters, however it is. But yeah. Infinite Track, Tunneler. The Magician's right hand, so the right and left hand are in here from the Magician. I always like, it's pretty cool. I know, right? Some cool hands. Mountain Masher for the Infinite Track. Derek Crane, Evil Eye Awakening. Not a bad Evil Eye card. Honestly, I'm thinking Devil May Cry whenever I see these big cards. Time. Yeah. Big, yeah. big crying Devil May. Konami is Devil May Cry, right? I think, I think uh, they might be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. So, very cool. So remember, we got Konami Digital and the Konami Gaming. Um, hidden Armory. I guess they're doing this in here to search out uh, the equip spell, Selene, uh, for the Evil Eye deck, because the deck kind of all revolves, revolves around, around that, that one equip card, equip card. But, man, I've never really liked Hidden Armory, because you got you can't normal summon or set the turn you activate this card. It's kind of, um, Arcanine Magician, nice to see that guy again. Spin Turn. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, how do you spin and turn? <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe I'll kind of just get some of them out here for you guys to check out. And then we'll put the duplicates. Okay. The dupes. The dupes. The dupes. And so again, you guys were taking this first box. Very slow, very casual box here. Uh, Sky Magician, again. Confronting the Sea, super rare in this set. Uh, Witchcrafter Edel. Is that anyone else? That? Edel, yeah. Uh, she's actually the short print super. There's, I believe, was there five short print supers? Yes, there were five. Five yeah. short print super, supers, and the case average on those is probably going to be around 10 uh, per case. And so uh, that's not even one per box that's on some really of them. really low, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, might, you like, might just not even get one. It's like Ash Blossom status. Yeah, same. Uh, Ash Blossom, I think, might have been eight. Oh, wow. A little bit lower ratio, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Edel's pretty nice to see in here. She's really good. She has a quick effect, discard a spell, special summon witchcraft or monster from your hand, and then you contribute this card, target spellcaster monster in your grave, and then special summon. So this is kind of the grave one. Um, but again, you have to discard a spell, so everyone's kind of like, man, are these cards actually going to be good? I don't know. Oh, with her, hold on, I was going to say, uh, something I realized in German, you pronounce that spelling as Edel. Edel. Yeah, which might sound a little name more namey. I was like, I was trying to realize the theme exactly. of these I, cards. I couldn't you know? grasp it either. I was still working for Because, is that German? Schmetta? I don't, Schmetta. Schmetta. I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. And then we have, and then we have the scroll. And this card's pretty sweet. Um, uh, but, you know, continuous spells aren't the most powerful in the current meta of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but this allows you to use it as a spell you would discard, and then it also allows you to draw cards when your witchcrafters destroy monsters. I think the problem is there's so much good back row hate despite Heavy Storm being out. Yeah. So, 
Bound Wand. Um, ooh, I always forget how to say this guy's name. Dig Vorskos. Oh, I'm not even trying. Dig Vorzak. <laughs> King of Heavy Industry. So this was the prize card. Very cool to see this guy. He's three level fives, though, so you probably want to rank up him out. I'm going to do that. And then Evil Eye Repose. Nice. Or Evil Eye cards. We'll keep going here. Almost done with the right size, you guys. And pretty sweet about these. So these are, you know, duck deck builder sets for the most part, you guys. You know, these you're going to get a few archetypes, and then you're going to get a whole bunch of cards for those archetypes that work well with them. Uh, which Raptor? Which wow? Did I say Witch Raptor? <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's uh, that's the that set of Yu-Gi-Oh the archetype. Uh, Witch Crafter, and then Evil Eye Mesmerism. That's pretty sweet. Mesmerism. It's a creepy picture, man. They yeah. did a good job. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then two more packs on this right side here. So we got the Tunneler again. Right hand of track. And nice, Infinitrack River Stormer. And I don't think we've pulled a single short print reprint. Uh, sh short print uh, Cigarera yet. I don't, I don't see one. Yeah. I don't see one right Not yet. We just got to believe in the heart of the cards, you guys. Come on. Was Zerziel short printed? Yes, he was. Definitely Zerziel? was. Not, not Zerziel. Sir, Zerziel. Zerziel. Zerziel and there she is. Uh, not short printed. Peter. Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> so, which crafter Peter, you guys, actually... Uh, <laughs> Just going for it. I mean, uh, what, what, what do you want to call it? Like, what would it actually be? Pittore. Yeah, sure, Italian. Let's go with Italian. Pittore. Pittore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Pittore. I'm, I'm good with Peter. So, uh, Witchcraft Masterpiece. Cool card there. I like the pictures, honestly. Some of these pictures are pretty cool. And it's funny, the the boss, Loli, the madame, she uh, looks like uh, the sword art final boss right now. No way. Yeah, almost exactly like her. She's just chilling on a bed, being all... Uh, oh, I want to say schmuck, but <laughs> smug. Being smug. all smug. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bound one. Schmuck. And nice, the holiday. Not a bad card. This one's targeted witchcraft or monster in the grave. Special summon it. During the end phase, if you control a witchcraft monster while this card's in your grave, you can add this card to your hand. That's really good. So that's the thing. You discard a spell to use these effects, but it's very easy to get them back in your hand. And now the search spell, though. See, this search spell is kind of extremely good. And it makes me think maybe you can use it as an engine. Talking and about not creation? Yeah, I'm talking about creation. And maybe... Uh, so that's why I think that that card might just retain a high value, even if the witchcrafter deck itself doesn't take off. Just kind of like danger cards. Uh, nice, Jackal King. And he, he was a short print, right? Yeah, he's definitely... No, 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 actually he's not. We, he's we not a short print? He's not short print. Wow, spin turn. And then Retribution. Almost an Infernity Barrier. I believe Infernity Barrier stops effects as well, but Evil Eye Retribution. And again, if the Evil Eyes get some support, this card will probably be, pre uh, be pretty incredible. Uh, when a spell or trap's activated while you control an Evil Eye monster and get the activation if you destroy it, if Evil Eye Serene is on your spell and trap cards, which is the equipment we've been talking about that we haven't pulled yet, um, you cannot negate this card's effect activation. But, you know, man, all the cards that activate from the hand right now, I don't know if this card can really make it, um, especially with not negating effects. But it is counter speed. But nice to see Jackal King. This guy will definitely retain some value because it is... Actually, that's that's a really good pack. This is, this is actually a pretty good pack, getting some consistent cards here. She is short printed as well. Yeah, Edel. Yeah. Or Adel, what were you saying? Adel. <laughs> Adolf, that's what I'm thinking now. Um, but, yeah, Jackal King, uh, definitely going to work well with the uh, structure deck. <laughs> hey, man, you, t you started. <laughs> Spellbook of Knowledge, nice. And uh, Medusa, short print again, right? Yeah, that's Medusa, Witcher, Watcher of the Evil Eye. Oh, Witcher would have been kind of cool. But, uh, so this one's you can use this effect, Samba, once per turn during the Samba phase, after this effect, banish one card from your game. Okay, so this is... Uh, add an evil eye card from your grave to your hand. That's that one. I was going to say, Witcher might be copyrighted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dracos. Oh, man, here we go. Dracos sack. That was, that was a great video. You guys should check it out. Mesmerism again. So I'll set her right there. But yeah, Draco Sack is probably going to hold some value as well. Just a decent... Hasn't been reprinted, I think, too many times. I think it was just Megaton in the classic set. He was secret Megaton as well, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, older Megaton. But what was the original set? The video... Draco Sack. Oh, well, I totally know oh, it. No. I know it. Legacy. Legion. Boom. We're going to remember it. We're going to remember. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. <laughs> Did 
Dang. I was, good, I was thinking uh, LGTY or yeah. something. Tachyon Galaxy. Say, le legacy of the Valley. LTGY. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, that was an epic video because, again, you guys, that was I went through 12 boxes for that video, and the last box had the Draco Zag. You guys should check out check out that reaction if you ever get a chance. Uh, Infinitrack Trencher again. Still haven't pulled any short print secrets. What's going We're gonna on? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. So every short print secret pretty much has the same ratio from what we gathered uh, from our cases, which is five, yeah, five it's per case. Much, yeah, so much. I guess you really could get a box with no short print secrets in it. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, Jack King. And Evil Eye Retribution again. But then you could also get a box with three short print. Very true. Secrets in it. Yeah. <laughs> so interesting to think about. You would hope he looks so good. Arcanine Magician. Gosh, I love that card. Ultimate rare. Oh. Oof, memories. Good. What was it? Rescue Cat? Yeah, that was Rescue Cat, right? Just, that, so you did brought out. Get you brought out. Actually, yeah, Rescue Cat did. But I think they brought it back now and changed its effect a little bit. But uh, uh, it was uh, X Saber, Urbellum. Yeah. And, Urbellum, uh, exactly. And uh, any monster? Exactly. Any other beast? As long as it was a beast. A beast Warrior? Was it both? I think it was Beast. It just beast? Yeah, I think it was Beast. But maybe, I don't know. But I remember you would get like two Urbellum sometimes and then use Mind mind Control. Oof. Good times. Arcanine Magician, guys. Um, well. Infinitrack, Dragetto. And nice! Infinitrack, Earth Slicer. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet card, but again, it is not one of these short print cards. And you kind of got to think about the value on these deck builder sets is going to be consistent. So the last deck builder set to come out was the... Uh, Prank Kids. Yeah. Prank Kids deck. And so, yeah, so some of these cards, unless they're like one of the main cards in the deck, really can't go over like a 5 or $3 value just because it's there's 30 per case, you know, that kind of thing. Have you free trained Dark Kind? Creation? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I tried. All right. I like how you pulled each of the Secret XCs and Link Monsters. That's it. And both the traps, too. I think we've pulled almost everything. <laughs> no, it's uh, 20 secrets, so we still got some more to go. We do. And I think now's the time. You guys ready? Now's the time. Evil Eye Awakening again. Okay. Aww. Gonna go play some Devil May Cry after this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they just come out with a new one? They did, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. He's super old in that one, I think. Aged. Yeah. Aged. 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 <laughs> Is he actually old? Because has he always been old? Exactly. Um, but yeah, guys. Here we Showing go. Showing his age, finally. Goliath. Yeah. I don't think we've but seen that one. That's not a short print. And draping. Yo yo! Storm. Storm. That's Storm. a great card. looks ridiculous. Starcraft. Actually, yeah, this is actually really cool. Out of Starcraft. Or War Warhammer, maybe even. Warhammer? Yeah, well, Warhammer. I was going to say, it definitely looks like the tank out of Starcraft. Yeah. Three barrels? Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Three barrels. Let's check out this one's effect. Uh, destroys opponent's monster by battle. Attach that monster to this card as material. Cool. Uh, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. You detach material, take a earth monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. That's cool. If this card's in your grave, you can tribute one machine link and special summon this in defense position. What? Wow. That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. Makes me want to check out Earth Slicer. But you know what? This pack feels a little heavy. Give it to me. Kaiba! <laughs> feels a little heavy. <laughs> when I say when I say when I say give it to me, that seems yeah. <laughs> seems a bit inappropriate. <laughs> get, give it to us, Kaiba. Come on, let's, uh, give it to us. let's make it a wee thing. <laughs> Yo yo! Hey, right, Celine, nice. nice. All right, you guys. So, uh, Evil Eye Celine. So it's of Celine. So who's Celine? Good question. Oh, I know. Say, uh, say it. Who's Celine? Maybe that's why Xerxes so mad. Yeah, I know. Where's Celine Dion? Celine Dion. <laughs> <Neon. laughs> okay. uh, equip only to Evil Eye monster. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Wow, it cannot be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effects. That's like you godly. That yeah, card. that's a godly type deal. Also, your opponent cannot target it. Whoa. Each time you activate the equip monster's effect, or you activate another evil eye spell or trap, the equip monster gains 500 attack permanently. Woo! Wow. Uh, the attack gain remains even if this card leaves the field. If this card's in your grave, you can pay 1,000 and then banish an evil eye spell or trap from the grave, except Selene, and set this card. Very epic, you guys. So that is evil eye Selene. And I think we need to open, go ahead and sleeve that up. They made it good. The deck revolves around it, so it has to be good. You know? Yeah, it's definitely a pretty dang good card. All right, you guys, two packs left. Kaiba gave us an Evil Eye Selene. Let's see what Yugi Boy has for us. Witchcrafter Madame Vettel. There she is. Nice. Yeah, so, oh, baby, she's very nice. And this is what I was talking about. She kind of looks like that boss sword art uh, lady right now. Kind of lowly, kind of chilling, kind of smug. That's pretty cool. 
I honestly like that picture a lot. Ooh, that's beautiful on the camera too. Uh, so let's check her out. So this is the eight star version. Some people are thinking they may not use three copies of her in the deck because she's eight stars, but some people are because it's kind of easy to special summon from the deck and whatnot. Uh, during damage count, if a spellcaster monster battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, reveal any number of spells with different names in your hand, and if you do, the battling monster gains a thousand attack and defense for each card revealed until the end of the turn. Quick effect, discard a spell and negate the effects of all face-up monsters you opponent currently control. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> yeah. By the way, <laughs> hey, just throw in a sand. Yeah, just negate everything. It's no big deal. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, very cool card because it doesn't actually make you discard the spells for getting big. So kind of like a spell book type deal where you're messing around making sure you have four different spells in your hand. So uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty powerful. If you if you have four different spells in your hand, that's a five thousand attack monster or any of your guys, any spellcaster monster, that can get insane real quick, real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and sleeve her up. That is Madame. Is there a different way to say that? Madam? Yeah, you can say Madam. Madam? Madam Verde. <laughs> can we go back to Madame? <laughs> Madame Verde. I just it lowly calling a lowly Madame doesn't seem I don't know. Doesn't seem, feel right? Doesn't feel right at all. She's probably older than she looks, they usually are. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it is. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> just <laughs> what are you trying to do over there? <laughs> Just close your eyes. <laughs> uh, magic Cylinder. Um, it's interesting too, because I guarantee you guys, this will actually retain some value compared to some of the other supers in the set, just because it's Magic Cylinder. It's magic cylinder. Uh, Secret Village again. And are we going to get another Shorper card? Yo, yeah, yo! Yeah! Holiday. Holiday. <laughs> it took a holiday and put that Holiday. <laughs> so uh, one short print though, that makes it uh, not a interesting box. Um... So that makes it an epic box, you guys. But let's go ahead and do another box here. And this time, let's uh, let's speed it up just a bit. And I'll actually have the guys come in after this box. But, you know, there's your single box opening. But I would like to show you Serziel. Yeah, Serziel. Mm -hmm. um, creation. Yes. And two more. So we're going to speed it up, you guys. We got Pottery. Have we gotten uh, an Infinitrack or Outrigger, the Outrigger extension card? No, we did not get the That's extension. Short printed super. Short printed super. But uh, people are kind of like, oh, it's kind of like a rank up for the Infinite Monsters. Hey, there's Jackal King. Evil Eye Repose. And again, you guys, it's a very small set. So honestly, I think you guys saw all of the supers from one box. Uh, Secrets, there's 20. I think you saw 16 or 18 from that box. 16. Because we were missing just the... Uh, four other short print secrets and so that's kind of how these expansion sets work which is fine again though i know you guys i tell you guys almost every other video that um i would prefer konami do a few more rarities i'm just i'm a big fan we had some ghost rares some ultimate rares what, what did konami have in japan that i was showing you guys like parallel, parallel secret ghost yeah. like it was or no it was 20th anniversary uh foil like it was just crazy Insanity. looking there was so much going on in the card yeah so much going on, so much craziness, and those cards were all like 200 bucks, and any card in the set, I think, came in there. It was hard to not look at. Yeah. Maybe not, look yeah, maybe not any card in the set, I think, was raring up, but, yeah, I just remember seeing, like, some of the uh, super rares, and rares, oh, there's a cool, I, want, I think a Blastoise when I see this. It's the cannons, It's man. the cannons. And the blue energy coming out of it. The blue energy, looking like water, Blastoise. Did he even say Blastoise? What was his mating call? Blastoise. <laughs> was it not Blastoise? Blastoise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blastoise. Uh, he's airing us. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but again, you guys, if you guys are interested in this set at all, check out the singles. We got them over on uh, eBay. And we'll probably get some up on TC Player over time. It's just TC, TC Player's markets kind of moves so much. Um, but then, of course, simpleandlucky.com. Oh, nice. Madame Barry again. And so nice. This one's in the beginning of the box. So. Gets me excited, uh, but yeah, not not her gets me excited. <laughs> <laughs> These dang lollies! Oh man! All right, so we got another Madame Vere, 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 Witchcrafters, and so is this going to be the Witchcrafter box? Are we going to get a creation and a Madame? That would be pretty that would sweet. Be awesome. Yeah, come on, Wonder Wand. Evil Eye Domain. Uh, we didn't get this in our last box. Um, this is actually one of the few secrets I've seen go up since the pre-release. And so initially, well, see, it might go down again. But initially, since the pre-release started, you guys will always see on TCG Player, they'll have all the cards. And uh, you'll kind of see a starting price. But then the market price 
is now below what price the card, the lowest card is currently at. So that's interesting. That means the card went up. Um, so when this card's activated, you can add an evil eye monster from your deck to your hand. Already extremely good. So that's like on the same level as Prank Kid's Place. Is it a field spell? Yeah, it's field spell. It's a field spell that replaces yep. itself. Once per turn during damage, Cal, if your Evil Eye monster is attacked while Evil Eye Selene is in your Speller Trap, you can make the battle damage you take from the battle inflicted to your opponent as well. <laughs> if this card in your Field or Spell Trone is... Spills as well. <laughs> field or Spell Zone, spells whatever, Field Zone, destroyed by a card effect, you can target an Evil Eye monster in the grave and then add it to your hand. Wow. Add Stratos back to your hand. Yeah. So people are like, wait a minute. This card's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so field spells are always usually bad. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah. So when it searches for a monster, though, that means it immediately gives it a, a it replaces we, itself. It's a plus one. Yeah, yeah, it's a potential plus one every time you play it. So that's really nice to see. And here we go. Hey, trans, trans, trans. I'm thinking the anchor or the other guy every time I see that, and I'm like, man, trencher. It is a pretty art, though. I do like the foil they use. Yeah. Yeah, it does look sweet. Arcanite, Evil Eye Selene. Hey, hey, hey! I like that. Ooh, look at the, you know, looking good. That, that art is sick. Not think. Cards. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, what is what is, Paradolia? What is, what are they trying to do with that? Par it looks like Dracula's castle. So yeah. I don't really know. I'm just like I'm trying to think of that name. Because you know they always have fun. The guys that are translating it from Japanese, they're like sometimes it has nothing to do with the original translation. Oh, yeah. Even oh, yeah. was. Yeah. Front of the seat. Nice. Eight all. And oh wow. Another Selene. I'll take Selene's all day, baby. Let's go. Five more Selene's coming up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all day. Hey, spin turn. Uh, dr just disc golf. Disc golf? Hey! <laughs> Infinity Harvester. So that's one of the uh, short print secrets. So here we go. See, this box already is feeling fire, guys. Oh, yeah. Three. I'm guessing three short prints probably makes it a godly box. So we're, we're at insane when we get two short print cards. Secret rare. Um... But yeah, the Harvester, if you guys want to check out his effect. I believe when you normal summon, you can add an Infinity Monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, so he is the Stratos. Okay. And uh, then you can target one other Machine Monster you control, and the levels become both of them combined. So, pretty cool. So he's the Stratos. Yeah, so you take him in a level 5, and you can make 7 ranks. Yep. Or... Or whatever. You, or can, you do it right here. You can make 7 it. and 2 for 9. Yeah. 10 and 2 for 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, combine, you guys. Oh, yeah, you combine that card with all the train cards. You have any rank you want. Yeah, or, or kind of, yeah, you know. Above five. <laughs> uh, so collaboration. Hey, Jackal King again. Schmetta, nice by street. By street. No. Yeah, it, 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 otherwise, it would have said alley. That's what a by street is. It's an alley. Yeah, so I was just. I've never used that word before. Alley sounds a lot worse. I think. <laughs> witchcraft, witchcraft or alley? Or alley. Actually, uh, no, that yeah. sounds pretty good. Uh, sounds pretty witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the uh, di di Diagon and Alley. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, nice Medusa. Retribution. And so. You didn't seem too excited about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's all good. Okay. So then we have Bound One, Arcanites, or Slicer. Okay, you guys, come on. Let's make it heavy. Let's feel the fire. Three, three secrets, one box. Ooh, another Jackal King. Yo yo! <laughs> the alley. I like the three secrets, one box title. That's, that's good. Yeah. Dur Dur Ghetto. Hey, Witchcraft Skull, nice. And so, right now we're searching for the other infinite track creation, maybe a Servius. Or Omega Clops. Omega Clops. He seems to love. He seems to love hanging out in our packs. I've been holding my breath for the last six packs. Yeah. <laughs> breathe, bitch, breathe. <laughs> All right, here we go. Basilus. Nice. He's another Mega what? Clops. Mega Clops. I was thinking when I first saw these, I was like, man, this is like Transformers combined with. Uh, what was the other one we were thinking? Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. <laughs> <laughs> What's the theme song for that, Bob the Builder? Yes, we can. No. <laughs> yes, we, yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can. All right, last two packs of Destiny, guys. Here we go. Give it to us. Gaiba! Come on. Creation! Oh. <laughs> holiday. <laughs> Going on a holiday. Man. I mean, that was a secret rare magic, and it was Witchcrafter, and it was a trap. <laughs> All right. 
Here we go. Hidden Armory. Out Trigger. Oh, Out Trigger. That's our first there one. That first Out Trigger one. extension. And uh, so that's your rank up for specifically for the Infinite Tracks and Witchcraft or Scroll. That, whole pack of spells? that was a whole pack of spells. No way. That was five spells. That yeah. was. That was a whole pack of spells. That I don't know if I've actually ever seen that before. You That's can get your pack of spells. <laughs> oh yeah, and for one of the first times ever when we were organizing this set, we actually found we had more spells than browns. I want to call them browns. The effect monsters. <laughs> <laughs> we had more greens than browns. We had more spells than effect monsters though. That was that was interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that before in a set. So definitely a spell heavy set. You guys want to jump in on the action on this one? Well, no, you mentioned it. It seemed like they were gearing up for that. That, uh, structure deck. Oh yeah, the structure, the spellcaster structure deck coming out. They put Jackal in here. They're like, hey, 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 this is a good idea. <laughs> so calculated, calculated. And again, you guys, uh, some people are like, you know, should we buy this product? People are like, no, but maybe just invest in the infinity cards. But dude, everyone's got to get their lollies. So that <laughs> that makes this set pretty decent. So all right, you guys, you want to just uh, just kind of jump in, there. dig it out. Oh, the camera's pretty close. We're gonna zoom out uh, for kind of the remainder of this video. Okay, so kind of towards the end of the mat there, got you guys it, got, got it? Let's do it, I'm excited. Okay. So what are we looking for right now? You're looking for secret rares. Dude, it's secret! <laughs> <laughs> hey, holiday, I'm on a holiday. You guys got, dude, you guys squatting no it way. up hey. on your first pack? <laughs> I'm just gonna go on a holiday, man. <laughs> that seems to be my thing. All right, the Infinity Chasers. So I guess it's the trains. It has to be the people creating the thing. Zerzil! What is he? Trencher. Oh, hey. Nice. I like that one. Paradox. You guys can create your own little piles yeah. in front of you. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. So three short prints so far. I wanted to show you guys all five. Or technically, we only have two. We have two of the same. Yeah, the by street is back. We can do this. Yeah, Ali. We can do this. The slicer. Actually, I want to read the slicer. You guys go ahead. She is a cool looking card. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, it's maybe going to be hard to focus while they're doing stuff in the background. But I'll just read them for you guys. It says here, when this card destroys a monster battle and attach this card, uh, attach that monster as material. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you can detach any number of teals from this card and target that many cards on the field and destroy them. Oh, you got a Peter? Peter. If this card's in your grave, tribute. So it actually has the same effect except for the first one. Detach any number of materials that target that many cards on the field and destroy them. But he's a bit bigger. I think he's a nine. Ooh, that's a lot of, a lot of stars. I got the scroll. The scroll of I got the spin and the turn. Hey, Celine. Celine. Got yourself a Celine. You know Celine is actually a brand of car? Really? It's a supercar, yeah. They're really I cool. actually do know that. <laughs> hey, Peter. Hey, oh, Sergio. Stratos. Dan the man. Simply Dan. Hey, uh. oh. oh. <laughs> I thought uh, you were going to squad pull that. You thought you were gonna squad pull Zerzio? <laughs> uh, some people are thinking Zerzio might be the rarest of the um, short print secrets in the set. Uh, but let's check him out. Like I said before, he is the Stratos of the set. If any card will go up because of Evil Eyes getting good, I'm pretty sure this will be at the fore the forefront of that happening. Uh, when this card's normal summon, add an Evil Eye card from your deck to your hand. Remember, Evil Eye card. That's the best kind of Stratos yeah. uh, from your deck to land, except this guy. If this card is equipped with Evil Eyes Selene? Yo. No! Creation! Oh, oh baby, look at you guys. Box. Can, can you guys let me open a couple? Can you, <laughs> can you guys let me open a couple? Man, dude, you guys get, you guys get, what, Sarzeal and Creation, and I'm just trying to squad. check out some of these pictures. Yeah, squad power over there. So, Sarzeal <laughs> and Creation. We're only missing Anchor at this point, yeah. right? And, yeah, uh, but I was going to say Sarzeal, back to Stratos. Here we go. And so... You're gonna, you're gonna, there you go. Okay. Uh, you, you can, so it, also if you have Selene, if this card is equipped with Selene, you can, to quick effect, wow, I didn't know it was quick effect, target a special summon monster your opponent controls, destroy it. You can only use that effect once per turn. And uh, once per turn during the standby phase, after this effect was activated, destroy one card you control. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe you can combo with that. I don't know. Interesting. Either way, Stratos, right? Stratos. So that's really good. All right, creation. This is currently the most valuable card in the set, uh, so it's very nice to see this kind of chilling in our boxes, kind of being a little, a little tough to pull, but it's okay. Add one witchcrafter monster, so it has to be a monster, not a card, uh, from your deck to your hand. During your end phase, if you control a witchcrafter monster while this card's in your grave, you can add this card to your hand. <laughs> if it just ended there, this would honestly probably be a fifty to hundred dollar card, but it says. 
you can only use one witch witchcrafter uh, creation effect per turn, so you can't do both. But still, extremely powerful. Guaranteed to search once you uh, pull it. It's always going to replace itself, and then it always has the potential to give you plus ones later on. That's any card like that is uh, beautiful. And then again, you can discard it for the effect of one of your guys if you don't need to search that turn, and then bring it back uh, during your end phase. Right. Yeah, I just realized something. This deck's going to have a hard time against Valkyries. <laughs> yeah. It's going to have a hard time against any cards that are stopping you from adding things Apple to your hand or messing with you. Apple vanishes whatever you want from my grave. Right there. Cool. Crazy. Right. So, two more short print uh, secret rares there, you guys. Epic. Kaiba was on our side, though uh, my squad was kind of... Uh, stole your thunder. Uh, stole your thunder. <laughs> so, can we make this a triple... I'm going to go for the last three packs. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we make this a triple threat? The turkey. The, tur the turkey. The turkey. The hat trick. <laughs> the hat trick. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what were the... Th the times three. So let's see if we can do it. The last one is Anchorman. Yes, Anchorman. Anchorman. That was the agreed upon name, Dan, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> My voice just got deeper, don't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You go! Whoa! That was uh, close, I man. Felt the fire, man. Trencher's like just sitting there smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last two packs. So honestly, it seems like the best box you could get would be a triple. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely would be a triple. Uh, a medium tier would definitely be one. An epic box would probably be two. Insane. So, godly is probably three. All right, come on. Jackal Beast. Peter! <laughs> Peter's back! <laughs> right at the end, man. Kaiba! Come on. I'm feeling pretty good about this pack, guys. Feeling pretty good. Zerzio. Hey, 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 that was almost a Zerzio, yeah, but it was a Zerzio. It was a Zerzio. Right. Um, <laughs> so we'll do a few more boxes for you guys again. We'll speed up. We're trying to show you at the moment. Uh, Anchorman. Let's see if we can do it. That's it. Let's do it. I can't quite remember his full name, so we need to see him. So we remember. <laughs> so we remember him? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know yeah. if they had the, the rights for Anchorman. You know what's... It's, <laughs> they have the rights. Track Anchorman. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so what we're thinking here is... We're gonna try to pull this last. And yeah, you gotta go ahead, squat yeah. it, squat it up. We're gonna pull this last guy, and we're gonna get a triple secret box, and it's gonna be epic. Oh man, I love the jackals. Start with the scroll. Paradolia. Par Paradolia. Eva. Paradolia. Paradolia. Sounds like an illness. <laughs> it it kind of does. <laughs> hey, Sergio, nice. my turn. There we go. Stratos, baby. Love me some of that. All right, come on. I remember when you played E Heroes. Hey, Peter. Yeah. When you actually played Stratos? I uh, did. I was loving Heroes for a cool minute there. Bye, Street. Bye, Street. Bye. Hey, Peter. Peter. Peter B. The Earth Slicer. Nice. And there's uh, Pottery. Pottery. Hey, Celine, man. Cataplates. Cataplates. <laughs> oh, right next to his buddy. Basilius. Basilius. Oh! Oh, oh, oh Madame! Oh, hey, 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 another uh, bit of better. Yes. <laughs> That's two in this box so far, right? That is two, you guys. This is the three. Is this the three? Is this the godly? Right, this is the godly, right? Dude, so we have, dude, Madame, the lowly, the the grumpy lowly. The grumpy lowly? <laughs> she's lowly. <laughs> she's, she's loving us. I like that. We got a play set? What's Hey, that? I'm going on holiday, baby. Yeah, you are. Gonna go on a holiday with my right, lolis. Yeah. <laughs> Mesmerism. Honestly, there was girls in Japan that would just walk around dressed like lolis. Really? Yeah, they wore like the. Walk around the they town. wore the the fluff. What do you know? Called fluff. Uh, uh, the lacy poofy. Yeah, the poofy. What's it called? Fluff. Fluff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds like that. I don't know. Come on, baby. Yeah! yeah! Oh, Sergio! God. Double! Wow. Sergio. Man, and this is actually the best-selling secret for us currently. So this is great. Um, but yeah, so definitely, that's the triple hey, threat. Sergio, right next to me, buddy. Yeah, Sergio, Sergio. Hey. All right, so last three packs. We should squad that. Last three packs. Can we get four? Woo. Four short print secrets in one box. I don't even feel like that's greedy. I feel like it's 100% doable. So we're at Godly. Can we make it the best? That's it. Creation. Simply the best. Down. Creation. We could use another one of those. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we still need Anchorman. We do. So let's do it. Right here, right now. Choose your packs. Boom. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Squad. 
Done, 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 done. Here we go. First car. Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! Peter! Very nice. I saw I saw an extension in there though, right? So, uh, yep. Dan, yeah, Dan, Dan got the side, yeah. Hey. That's a good pull. Got the extension. Uh so we're still gonna keep going. Need anchor man. That was a fantastic box. That was a godly box, actually. That was two Sergios and a Madame Vatic. Godly. Madame Vatic. I honestly thought Sergio was a girl. First time I was checking her uh, him. See, look at you. <laughs> him out. But I can see it. I can see where you went. Honestly, I still think there's a chance. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I don't know. Like, there's there's a lot of abbage going on right hey, there. Man. Girls can have abs. Maybe, maybe. Especially I, agree. Girls. I agree. You know, sometimes they like to do those neutral sex looking uh, people. You know, like uh, <laughs> androgynous. <laughs> androgynous. There we go. But no, I was yeah. gonna say sword art. You know, GTO. That oh, that art. Yeah. yeah, the sword art guy, uh, Kirito's character, whatever. You know, like is that a girl? Is that a guy? I don't know. Um, and then even they're doing it now in the little slime show. The slime's like a yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dude, oh, it's like yeah. a it's like a dude girl. A dude girl. <laughs> yeah. Infinite track. Oh! Oh! oh Sergius, wow. man. Dude, he's Sergius. That's first. crazy, man. I love it when we see that guy right away. Let's keep it up. Slice up that earth, man. Yeah. Yeah, Slicing that earth. It's fire, man. Can we get? Backing away at it. Can we get two godly boxes in a row? I'm really feeling it, guys. I'm starting to Ooh. starting to feel the fire behind me. Man. Ooh. <laughs> I had the Kaiba eyes there for a second, but I was thinking Pegasus. <laughs> Yugi Ball. That is such a beautiful card. Hey, man. Celine, I love me some Celine. <laughs> Celine Dion. It's going to stick up for not careful. I know. All right. Oh! oh! There it is! Witchcraft of Creation and wow. Sergio, man. Boom. Dude, right. the fire. We got some fire boxes brewing. I like it when they brew. Do I open more packs than you guys? I feel like... Peter. I feel like I might open more. <laughs> keep getting the good stuff. Hey, man. As long as you're on fire, you can keep going. That's how it works. Bring the fire. I'm heating up. Oh, upside down. Oh! Uh -huh. I thought it was a double creation, dude. I was about to go, whoa! What's that? I'm heating up. I was about to go, eh! <laughs> <laughs> Bless us. That's the mating call. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Eye. Hey. Mega, Mega Man. Mega Dude. Mega, yeah. Mega Dude. <laughs> hey, you got the extension again. I feel like Dan's over there is pulling all the, uh, I know. the extensions. Those are great. I really like that card. And scroll again. Oof. Here, let me open one pack and then we'll do a squad opening. Sounds good. Come on, Dan. Come on. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Slice them up, dude. Yeah, I know. We need Anchorman. Come on. We do. Pottery. Oh, repos. Mm -hmm. More repos. How was repos used there, Simply Real? Uh, so it's, uh, what's the, read the full card out? Okay. Evil Eye <laughs> Yeah, Evil Eye, evil eye Repose, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be like Evil Eye, um, what's the word? It's uh, Serenity or Evil Eye. Time um, of Rule? Yeah, it's like a peaceful kind of, you're in repose. Huh, okay. You're you're oh, okay, like a meditation yeah, you're time chilling. for the evil eyes. <laughs> <laughs> for the evil eyes. <laughs> They're relaxing their eyes. Choose your, choose your destiny, bro. Simply, bro. Here I'm we go. Always, always. Give it to us. Kaira! All right, Ooh, that was powerful. good. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, I got a sling, though. Gasoline. I got me some of that sling. All right, you guys, we got one more box here for this video. Um,. I know it, I've been doing a lot of, we've been doing a lot of massive videos as of late, but honestly, you know, if you guys just want to see one box, we kind of do that slower first box. We always give that, uh, give the option for you guys to stick around if you guys want to see some more action. And it doesn't so, get hot until the second or third, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't get hot until we see the godly box. So only one, so we did five or six today. Did we do five? Uh, this uh, is six. five? Six? No, really? Should be six. Okay. Should be six. Wow. Really? Six. I don't believe you. I believe you. Two, yeah. three. Wow. So half a case, you guys. It is, it is. And we saw one godly box. I'm guessing it's one or two godly boxes per case, which is uh, three of the short print secrets. It's pretty cool. Let us know in the comments below if you get four. That's pretty freaking sweet. And let's get started, boys. All right, let's do it. Hashtag Simply Squad. Uh, remember, you guys, if you guys are interested in any of the cards we're pulling here in Infinity Chasers, we got them on eBay. Definitely the most organized version of the cards. And then we also have them on SimpleLucky.com. They're coming very soon, if not already on there. And, uh, yeah, just go check them out. Infinity Chasers, you guys. Epic set. Like we said before, Witchcrafter set. And uh, a lot of support. Nice. Celine Dion, baby. Celine. Blastoise. 
Um, a lot of support for the Witchcraft cards. And then the Evil Eyes, everyone's like, what's going to happen? We don't know. Let's find out. Ooh. Repose. Repose. Blastoise. Oh, hey, hey come hey, on! Hey, he's hey, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. He's like, Woo! is that? What, is, is that? Is that? Uh, is that? Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> I guess it. No, I thought it was an anchor shovel for some reason. Yeah. What, what is it? Anchor drill? Anchor drill. Anchor. Uh, hey, okay. So here it is, you guys. Anchor drill. Look at that. Pretty in the light. Dude, Simply Dan coming in clutch at the end, pulling the final short print, Seeker Rare. Um, if this card's normal, special summon, special summon Earth Machine from your hand in defense. And so this is hand, the other guy's deck. Um, or I think it's just add from your deck to your hand. You can target one of the machine monsters you control. The levels both become, um, that monster and this card's become original combined levels. So you can do it in C summon. Very cool. So, uh, so you can go fetch him with the other so, guy. So, you know, you literally go fetch him with the other guy. And then, no. Do something cool, something Well, else? no, but you just, you special summon this guy to special summon. He's normal summon this guy, special summon this guy. That's Harvester? Right. Is Harvester normal or special? If this card's normal or special summon. So I'm saying you normal summon this, special summon this, go search for something. Combine these together as a six rank. You know, that's just an option. I was Maybe. trying to think about it. You're going to probably want to do something. Guy? Tell me, six rank? <laughs> <laughs> well, here you're going to go get one of the machines, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The machine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got Anchor, man. Uh, let's, let's make it insane, guys. Are we going to get two? Let's get two of this box. Julie, I'm so ready for that. Goliath. I like Goliath. Peter. I like I like the name Goliath. I like this card, to be honest. Scroll. Really cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool, actually. I, I really like the Infinitrax, though. Man. Infinitrax. Infinitrax. Bunch of boss machines, man. Mesmerism. They keep printing machines, and I'm okay with it. Yeah. Mega Clops coming in clutch. <laughs> you know that card probably has a clutch. Yeah, it probably does. <laughs> oh, wait. Scroll. All right, three packs. Four. Four. Pop one and then we'll swap. All right. Ooh. Choose your two, and then I'll pop two. All right. Open this first. All right. Last four packs, you guys. This is where it gets intense. Some people are looking around and they're like, "Man, are they really gonna pull one of those five epic cards?" And then we look at each other and say, "We're gonna pull two. Ooh. No. That's what's gonna happen. Ooh. You guys ready? Yugi boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Secret Village. Draco Sack. Oh, repose. Oh. Alright, this is it, guys. Let's regain our composure. Yeah, repose. And do it. You go! Uh, hey, yeah! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I just grunted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Medusa, that's nice. Here, get it a little closer, a little closer. Oh, Jackal King, you guys are good. Alright. Alright. Go! Harvester! Whoa! Hey! Nice. Final pack of Destiny we do. We got the Anchor Man and we got the Harvester. That's great. Wow. So the two Infinitrax. Infini Infinitrax! <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> yeah, so we got the Anchor. We got the, the, uh, these the Harvester. These are impressive boxes. Yeah, these are really good. So honestly, again, you guys, you're looking for two of your short print secret rares. Um, on and again, I don't know if these guys will retain their value. I think right now on the pre-release they're chilling around 15, and uh, these are those cards that you're like, well, are people gonna play it? Let's find out. They're good, but are they good enough? That's kind of one of those, one of those thoughts there. I think that these will end up being around eight to 12, just because they're consistent cards. I like consistency. One searches for cards, the other one special summons from the hand, and then they let you let you exceed. And it's Earth Machine. Yeah. So yeah. that works with uh, the, what, what are they called? Yeah. Ancient Gears? Okay, so Anchor Drill is Earth Machine. So if this card's normal summon, you can special summon Earth Machine monster from your deck in defense. From your hand, sorry. Wow. Deck. <laughs> deck in defense would be too good, but from your hand in defense. So this is Earth Machine. So Anchor Drill has less requirements. Um, Infinitrack says you do have to add an Infinitrack monster. So, But it does target one other machine for the levels combining yeah. Combining levels and making both the same level for an XC summon. So we're going back to urgent schedule, I think, here. Oh, yeah, big time. Urgent Great. schedule is overpowered for a combo like this. You could play these in Ancient Gears, you could play them in trains, you could play Ancient Gear Train Infinitrack. <laughs> you, know, you, can, you can mess around with machines as you want, you guys. And we do, Harvester does hit us with the machine dupe. Harvester is a machine duper, so that's interesting. One other, target one other machine monster. 
You can only use each effect. So you can, I was thinking, man, if you could use that multiple times, you can have like three harvesters and be like, copy that harvester, they become fours. Then this harvester covers that farther that harvester, and, and you have eight. That <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, once per turn. But you can machine dupe them out. So, pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this opening. Again, that's the Infinitrack cards. Uh, back to the Witchcraft for a second here. We had the Madame. We had the Creation. So overall, we had two Creations, three Madames, uh, three Four Serzials, holy moly. And then the infinite track cards were our, our least pulled cards, but these cards here, Witchcraft. What, what do you got? What's your guys' favorite archetype? I think for Simply Dan over here, I think he's loving the infinite tracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You like you like the Tonka toys? Yeah, I like the Tonka toys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, then for Simply Bro, what are you feeling? Um, feeling the lowlies or the... I think I'm feeling the fiends mainly because... The Witchcrafters is kind of, I'm not feeling, I was never a big fan of like the Prophecy Spellbook deck, and this is giving me those vibes. You're really so, getting Prophecy Spellbook vibes. I huh? know, it's the, it's, the, it's the reprint combined with this being in, the, you know, I'm just digging the fiends. So, digging. Prophecy Spellbook to me, and I'm not just trying to, you know, shut you down here, but it's just Prophecy Spellbook to me, I think, was a lot of in the hand, movement through the deck. Constantly, nonstop. Yeah, it was a waiting game. Yeah, and I'm just afraid of that happening. Again. With with this deck though, it seems like they got a lot of cards that are on the field, you know. And so like Holiday is not on the field, but Scroll is. <laughs> Scrolls, <laughs> Scrolls on the field. Um, By Street is oh, on yeah, the field, they do, yeah, they and do. then they have a field spell. And so that's where I'm just like, you know, a lot of these cards seem like they're going to be on the field. They can be used though, I think, as material or as a discard fodder for their effects. Well, maybe I can hop on the lolly train. Huh? Yeah, well, no, I'll, I'll take the lolly. I'll take the lolly train. I'll take, I'll yeah, I'll take the right, lolly train. Cool, stick with yeah, you stick with your fiends, man. I'll take all the lollies. We're good. No big deal. And uh, that seems that seems fair. <laughs> and you can have your Tonka toy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, on those uh, on those Tonka toys, there's an infinity symbol. On oh, no way, dude. Yeah. Simply Dan coming in hot. Oh wow, dude, there is. That's yeah. cool. There is an infinity I symbol on all of them. That. Yeah, and it's. Definitely foiled on every single one. It yeah. is foiled. So here we go. Let's zoom it in camera. So Blastoise, he's got it on the front there. You see that? And then the Earth Slicer has got it. Uh, kind of like on his, uh, on his chest. On the, set, on the side there. Oh, chest. The side. Yeah, yeah. Piece kind of on the side. And then the Megaclops, he's got it right in the middle on his belt there. That's great. Drag shovel. Drag shovel. He's what? got it on him too. You don't care yeah. about supers. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's for a Short Prince Harvester. We got it right on the nose. And, right on the nose. And Just on the tip. On the tip there, yep. <laughs> and Anchor Drill is, um, I don't know where that is at. Oh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of in the nose again. That's the, that's the if it's like this. It's like, oh, it's a scorpion. It's like a scorpion kind of thing. Yeah, there it is on Crab Crane too. Yeah. So you think there's multiple, is there like few, there's multiple things going on with these. Are they, are they representing, so this one's like a scorpion. Is this one like a bear? This one's okay. definitely a crab. <laughs> I've got a crap paint over here. You're great. Definitely. You're a great guy. You're a great guy. You know, wouldn't be simple and lucky without you, simply, bro. That's all I can say. <laughs> and I was just, this one just straight looks like a tank or a blastoise, so I'm yeah. confused on that one. And Earth Slicer, I'm not seeing anything. And then Mega Clops. <laughs> oh, it looks like a dinosaur. Okay, I see what they're doing there. That's a dinosaur. I think they all kind of have a little dinosaur -y look, like a uh, drag shovel. You know, the super? <laughs> All right, but yeah, very interesting point there. The infinity symbols are on those, and uh, if you didn't get a good look at By Street again, there's your your uh, your magical yeah. lowly alley. <laughs> if you guys are ever in doubt, you got a place to go. There it is. And so, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, lots of epic cards here from the new set, Infinity Chasers. And so, like we said in the beginning, the Infinity Chasers are the uh, Tonka toys to Infinity and beyond and so uh if again you guys are looking for these cards we have them on the markets ebay tcg player tc player simplelucky.com oh yeah and uh we also have the sleeves we use as well right we do golden dual supplies we do oh, we yeah. can find them those gorgeous <laughs> sleeves gorgeous sleeves well. look at that and on a gorgeous creature <laughs> close your eyes <laughs> <laughs> um and then yes yeah, sir servius 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 <laughs> servius over there and don't forget about peter <laughs> all right you guys as always thank you so much for watching please remember to post in the comments below your thoughts on this set and if you guys think that any of these cards will remain at a higher value or they will go up or go down let us know in the comments below what you guys are thinking and as always thanks for watching please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content subscribe subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos <laughs> and simply on lucky and the simply squad signing out